Hi there, I thought I'd just make a quick video showing the, uh, the inside of my toilet cistern. Uh, I suffered a lot with condensation on the outside around here which was dripping on the floor and ultimately makes the wood rotten and the floor slippery inside the bathroom. So what I decided to do, having looked at a few videos on, uh, on YouTube myself, uh, is actually line the internals of the cistern with a yoga mat. Now this is a couple of mil thick, I think it's about three mil thick yoga mat. You know, you basically take out the internals, which is really easy to do, uh, by doing the two bolts either side, obviously making sure there's no water in it at this point. Uh, it speaks for itself, really. Undo the bolts, take the cistern off, uh, disconnect the water on the outside there. Uh, once it's completely empty, you might need a bucket underneath to drain it all out. Uh, and then we just take all the parts out inside, which is pretty easy to do. There's other videos on YouTube to show you that. And then basically we make a stencil, so we get the yoga mat itself. Uh, I cut a cut a section for the bottom piece first with the holes. Uh, quick tip though, make sure the holes at the bottom are larger than the actual holes in the cistern itself in the porcelain. Because if they're not, the actual nuts at the bottom there, you see, you want a nice close fit uh, just to make sure. So I had to cut the I uh, the original one I did. I had to cut the yoga mat actually extra extra big. Uh, so that the uh, the nut itself would not uh, conflict with the cistern. So from there, once I've done the middle bit, I did a back panel there, and then I continued round the actual sides of the the cistern. Um, obviously, you can see there's a gap either side, and that's due to the actual nature of the cistern sloping out, and you will get that. And this side, I cut a little bit more, uh, and 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 then siliconed it in, making sure it's all nice and tight. And then on this side, I just put some extra silicon, basically ran out of time. Um, once I've done that, silicon around the bottom, okay, uh, all the way around the bottom, uh, and then all the way around the, the actual parts as well, just for extra water tightness, that's what you want. Um, once I did that, I silicon around the top, okay, just to make sure it doesn't come off. Now, make sure that it's got, you've got plenty of silicon, and that the silicon you use is actually uh, silicon what can be used completely underwater, okay, that's very important. Uh, so the silicon doesn't start to deteriorate as the water uh, eats away at it. So you need fully immersible um, silicon. So, uh, so there you go, definitely improvement. I've had no condensation as you can see. There's not one drop at all uh, since I fitted this. So really good tip for the winter. Uh, good luck and do it yourself. Nice one.